bumper sticker I talk about sometimes, life's a joy and then you ascend. You know, that's, that's my philosophy of life. <laughs> you know, you, you get into the joy authentically by clearing away the darkness and get higher and higher and higher into that joy and then you ascend. That's what we could call the disappearance of the universe. It's, it's not that there's a destruction involved, you know, a lot of times that's with the second coming or there's just, there's negative destructive connotations, but I would say it's more first a reinterpretation from fragmentation to wholeness. That has to come first and then the disappearance of the universe. You know, when we were talking, it was interesting, Elizabeth and I were doing the one-on-one and, and she was describing the, like, the perception kind of burning up on the sides and then whoosh, just going into a blazing light experience, which is a revelatory experience. And, and I've, I've had that three different times in my life where I've just completely gone into a revelatory experience where, where there was no personality, there was, there was no, we were talking about no individual I, no personal I there, just bliss, just pure light and pure bliss. And that is really the most terrifying thing to the ego. It's just, it's truly knowing yourself and knowing God as pure love and light, but, but there is no ego in it's that just light. It's a great contrast of abstraction and linearity. And time and eternity cannot coexist. You know, one is fragmented and it's, it's long and the other is is indescribable. There's no reference point on earth. Just that those light experiences are the experiences of eternity and there's no reference point whatsoever. There's not any perception in those light experiences. So you exist equally with all the memories. That's what the quantum field is. They're all simultaneous. Mm -hmm. They're all there. There aren't some that are bad memories and some that are good memories. There aren't some that are past memories and some that are future memories. It's just all simultaneous in the quantum field. And that's all we're doing with all this mind training, is just giving yourself the faith to open up to that simultaneous experience, where you know everything, you know all things, and are known completely. And the and only thing that's blocking the way is this, is this insistence on linearity. You know, and you could apply it to everything. You could apply it to relationships, you could apply it to jobs. You know, that's kind of what's, what we're all gearing up for here, is we're starting to see the meaningless as meaningless. And as soon as that is recognized, then that's when we could say it's game over for the ego. You would never try to control anything anymore. You would never try to visualize something to be different than it is. You know, the Course is saying, let all things be exactly as they are. All things work together for good, there are no exceptions. You know, it's, it's just this acceptance, let me behold everything exactly as it is, and that's without time. Just taking, sucking the time out of the perception, so that all that's left is the simultaneity. So, you know, it's, it's really great how practical we can be, and Every day, with every encounter and everything we experience, it just gives us another golden opportunity to just surrender and let go, instead of trying to hold on to any scrap. There will come a time when images have all gone by, and you will see you know not what you are. sealed and open mind that truth returns unhindered and unbound.